It's not raining today, but it's still cool, so let's make some curry dumplings. I'm gonna start with yogurt. So I'm taking about four tablespoons of yogurt here. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of gram flour or chickpea flour or basin. Whisk this very well. Add some water in it. Two big cups of water. Give it a mix. Take some oil in a pan. Some cumin seeds and garlic. Fry the garlic for a few seconds. Don't burn the garlic. Add one chopped tomato. Once the tomatoes are a little bit soft, add the spices. Half teaspoon of turmeric powder. Half teaspoon of cumin powder. One teaspoon paprika. One teaspoon coriander powder. Teaspoon of salt. We can adjust the salt later. We have to cook the masala. We can keep adding little bit water at a time and cook this for about 7 to 8 minutes until the oil is separated. Take some oil in a pan. I'm taking half kg chicken keema. We have to cook this until the chicken is brown. The keema is brown. It's time to add the spices. So I'm gonna add a teaspoon of coriander powder, a teaspoon of paprika powder, a teaspoon of salt. Then I'm gonna add chopped onion and peppers. It's just you can take one whole pepper and one medium onion, green onions and chopped coriander as well, white vinegar, a tablespoon of dark soy sauce. Mix everything. Now I'm gonna cook this for about seven to eight minutes on medium high heat. Add a tablespoon of ginger garlic paste as well. This is how the mixture looks once it's cooked. Now you have to cool it down. Sala is cooked now and you can see the oil has separated. Now the mixture that we made, give it a good mix. Save the mixture into the masala. So just to be sure that there are no lumps. Make sure to keep stirring it until the first boil and then you can stir it occasionally. But you have to cook this for about 25 to 30 minutes until it's a bit Make thick. the dumplings. I'm going to use these dumpling wraps. These are already made. I'm going to take a dumpling wrap. Place some filling in the center. Put some water on the edges. Join it in the center first. And just... Fold it this way and do the same on the other side. Curry has been cooking for about 25 minutes now and it has thickened. I'm taking half of the curry here because I just want to make one portion of dumplings and curry for myself. So this is the best thing about it that you can prepare the dumplings and the curry and then you can just uh, heat it up and cook it whenever you want. So I've added six dumplings in here. I'm going to cook this for about seven to eight minutes. Got some oil here in a pan. I'm just going to fry thinly sliced onion. These are light brown. I'm going to add some garlic, some red chili flakes and some paprika. Cook this for a few seconds. Dumplings are cooked. You can tell they're cooked when they start floating on top of the curry the chili oil that we made the chopped coriander and squeeze a little bit of lemon juice on it 